With Russia's military advance stalled, its troops in disarray, and thousands of them killed, according to estimates by U.S. officials, Russian forces are now going after civilians, knowingly. In Mariupol, Ukraine's military posting this video of hundreds of people who'd been taking shelter in the basement of a theater. In front and in back were banners in Russian reading children, big enough to be visible from the sky. Yesterday, Russia bombed it anyway. But tonight, officials say the shelter remained intact. In Chernihiv, Russia struck an apartment building. Among the casualties was an American citizen. No indication the building was targeted. And in Kyiv, firefighters scrambled to rescue survivors after yet another apparently indiscriminate attack. British intelligence reports Russia is using older, less precise weapons and is resorting to older, cruder tactics, including trying to starve out Kyiv. Russia has clearly resorted to siege warfare. This was one of the biggest food storage facilities in the entire country. 50,000 tons of food were here, all burned. And it's impossible that this was an accident because it was bombed twice. And then another food storage facility just about a mile from here was also attacked. Do you have a, a message? In a hospital bed nearby, Volodymyr was injured while trying to salvage food from the burned out warehouses. I want this war to be over so I can see my family, he said. Down the hall is Katerina, who sold milk and yogurt at an open market. She was in a basement and went outside for a moment to wash a blanket when a Russian shell exploded. It tore off her leg and shrapnel went through her back and into a lung. Before I had a house and a job. Now I'm disabled and have no home. And why? For what? She asked and began to curse Russia. <laughs> President Zelensky visited another hospital in Kyiv, meeting the family we met last week. All of them shot in their car at close range by Russian troops as they were trying to escape. <laughs> Zelensky also addressed Germany's parliament and asked for help to stop Russia from erecting a new Berlin Wall, separating the free world from tyranny and repression. <laughs> All right, Richard, joining us now. And Richard, you and your team have been in Kyiv for quite some time right now. Can you give us an idea what it's like to live, to work, to exist in a place that is a bullseye as far as the Russians are concerned? The city has changed uh, quite a bit over the last several weeks. When we first arrived here, Ukrainian soldiers were very nervous. When we would pull up to a checkpoint, they would raise their weapons at us. They were asking a lot of questions. Now they feel that they're winning and they're a lot more relaxed. When we pull up to the checkpoints, the soldiers are smiling. They're talking to us, asking us personal questions. A few bars and restaurants have even started to open up. The only question really on people's minds here is, how will Vladimir Putin react now that he has his back against the wall? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.